Hello everyone and welcome to day four of the Valentine's Day alcohol ink card series. I think I get more excited every single series. Sorry about that glare from that light. It's really starting, it's really bugging me. I don't know what I can do. I can just lean over, I guess. <laughs> Try and block it with my body. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, we are creating alcohol ink backgrounds. Um, we've already done a few different techniques on the first uh, three days. I will link the rest of uh, the playlist for the series um, in the description box below and up above somewhere here if you've missed the first three days. Um, so today uh, we are going to be using the dryer for the first time. All the rest of them just we let air dry, so this one we are going to be using the dryer, blow dryer. Um, I've got some alcohol ink uh, Yupo paper. Um, this is like a, a plasticky, very non-porous paper, so it's um, like a, uh, a synth and synth synthetic, that's the word I'm trying to go for, a synthetic paper. And I've just cut um, a couple sheets down in half to um, four by or five by eight. And the colors I'm going to play with today, we've got some crimson in regular alcohol ink and deception in the alcohol pearl ink. Okay, so for a lot of this, the dryer is going to be on, so I'm going to start it, and then I'll probably put some music on so you don't have to listen to the dryer as we go. Oh, gloves, gloves, gloves. I'm going to put on my gloves from day three, <laughs> which are already used, but don't want to throw them away if I can reuse them for as long as I can. Okay. So I'm just going to put down some um, of the crimson, a few drops here and there, and oh, more than a few drops, and a little bit of the deception. I'm going to shake that up really good. Okay, so I've got a little bit of that down, and then I'm going to put a little bit of um, alcohol ink, so, or sorry, um, isopropyl alcohol, it's a uh, 99% in this little bottle. And I'm just going to keep adding more alcohol and then more ink and moving it around. And my goal is to create some like heavy um, outlines, so that's what I'm going for. So I'm just going to kind of play with it and move it around. a tiny bit of current in there as well just in case you see another color appearing that's what it is
All right, so this one's pretty dark. I kind of wanted it to have like a surface of Mars kind of texture, but that might be a little bit dark for a lot of people's likings. I'm going to set it aside. I'm going to kind of do, I'm going to clean off my surface first. I'm going to kind of do the same thing. I'm going to go in with um, some Baja Blue and Teal from Pinata and some Stream and Mojito from Ranger Ink. I know that they are not Valentine's Day colors, but I'm going to rock with them anyway. Maybe some Passion Purple as well from Pinata. Okay. So uh, this time I'm going to use some blending solution, and um, but I'm still looking for those uh, heavy borders. That's still kind of what I'm going to go for. Um, in another video I'm going to do soft wispy looks, but today I want the deep borders. might be too many colors, but we shall see. <laughs> I might not use the mojito. I'm going to maybe leave the mojito out for now and see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of um, alcohol blending solution to that. And then I'm going to use the blow dryer in the same way. Okay, I'm going to add a couple more drops of this teal. Um, I just wanted to mention that um, where I'm putting the alcohol ink, that's where the color is going to flow to. Um, so just, just to put that out there, I wasn't sure if I actually explained that or not. So this is kind of what I was going for a little bit more, almost like a stained glass kind of look. It looks a little bit more like it, a lot of, lot of lines, a lot of texture, a lot of borders with some dark bits. So that's kind of what I was going for. Um, I mean, I, I'm probably going to work it a little bit more. I just didn't want the video to be super long. I'd probably work these dark areas a little bit more and make them a little bit, spread them out a little bit. But, um, another video. <laughs> or I could keep working it. Should I keep working it? Oh, it's so hard not to. I'm going to work it just a little bit more. Okay, so these are our backgrounds for uh, day four. Um, really heavy, saturated color with a lot of like, um, like the borders around it, heavy lines. 
Uh, okay, so we're going to turn these into cards now. My plan, this memory box uh, Scribble Rose die. So I've already cut that out a couple times and backed it um, or, and glued them together. So it's a little bit uh, have, uh, thicker. That's what I'm trying to say. Cheapers. And I'm going to cut it out of... Or no, I've already cut it out of here. I'm just going to cut a circle to go um, behind it. And the rest of the card is going to be white. And then I'm just going to embellish it with a couple of these um, Forever in Time dimensional roses. And then for this one here, I'm going to cut it down. Um, I've got um, another die from Pink Fresh Studios. And it is... What is it called? Simply Diamonds. Okay, so I've already cut out um, a piece of that out of just white cardstock and I'm going to silver heat emboss this and then put this in behind it and then add a sentiment. Okay, so I'm going to get those cut out and embossed and then we will come back. So I tend to, um, for like really intricate things like that, I tend to cover them with something while they dry. Um, okay, so now I'm going to emboss this in silver. I'm just going to like, um, kind of push this whole thing into the ink pad because there's some spots that are really delicate because it just barely fit my, my card face. I'm just trying to make sure that everything is inked. Okay, cool. I'm using Hero Arts um, Silver. And I have a feeling I might have missed a few spots, so I might end up doing this uh, a couple times. Okay, so that's once. I'm going to do it a couple more times just to give it a, kind of like a metal look to it. Um, and also to strengthen it. Um, so Alright, so today's cards ended up being very, very different from each other. So this one um, just did what I said what I was going to do. <laughs> just backed uh, this die cut with some of the alcohol ink pattern, or alcohol ink paper, and then just popped some dimensional roses on there. I didn't even put a sentiment on this one. Uh, I'm still tempted to. I might just put a little bit of love or something somewhere. Um, but not every single card needs a sentiment, so I might leave it like that. Um, the second one, so I uh, heat embossed this a couple more times. And then uh, stamped Kisses from um, a Honeybee stamp set. And just uh, heat embossed that with black, I um, uh, believe it is Bruno Monroe black embossing powder. I did that a couple times. And that is that one. All right. There we go. Yay, day four. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. I uh, hope you will come back and watch the rest of the series and go back and watch the beginning of the series. I will link that in the description box below if I haven't already said that. You guys are amazing. I hope you know that. I hope you feel my love and sending you lots of kisses. Bye!